heat we are all familiar with heat we feel it on a body when the sun shines we use heat for cooking a food we reduce the heat by adding ice cubes while preparing fruit juice let's learn about the sources of heat they are sun combustion friction and electricity sun we all know that sun gives us light does it give us heat yes after standing under the sunlight for some time touch a head does it feel hot yes it feel hot because the sun gives out heat besides light that's why we feel difficult to walk barefoot on sunny days combustion heat energy can be generated by burning of fuels like wood kerosene coal charcoal gasoline petrol oil and etc in a home we know we get energy to cook how either by gas or oil friction when we rub our palms for some time and then hold them on our cheeks how do you feel we can generate heat by rubbing two surfaces of some substances in the past people used to rub two stones together to get light fire electricity when electric current flows through a conductor heat energy is produced the electric equipments the water heater iron box electric kettle a mixer a fruit maker a toaster all work under a principle of electricity heat molecules in object are constantly vibrating or moving inside objects we cannot see that the movement with a naked eye when we heat the object this vibration and movement of molecules increases and the temperature of object also increases what is heat heat is an energy that raises the temperature of a thing by causing the molecules in that thing to move faster heat is not a matter it does not occupy space it has no weight like light sound and electricity heat is a form of energy in short heat is a kinetic energy that constitutes the particles of an object the unit of heat the si unit of heat is joule the unit calorie is also used to define heat hot and cold objects in a day to day life we come across a number of objects some of them are hot and some of them are cold how do we decide which object is hotter than the other
we use the tip of a finger to find out whether the tea cup is has enough heat to drink we often determine heat by touching the objects but is the sense of touch is reliable temperature what is temperature the measurement of warmness or coldness of a substance is known as temperature like heat temperature also has an unit the si unit of temperature is kelvin celsius and fahrenheit are the other units used to measure temperature celsius is also called as centigrade as well heat and temperature heat and temperature are not the same thing in fact it means two different things temperature is related to how fast the atoms or molecules move heat not only depends on the temperature of a substance but also depends on how many molecules are there in an object the temperature measures the average kinetic energy of molecules but the heat measures the total kinetic energy of the molecules in the substances we need to know something one day in 1922 the air temperature was measured at 59 degrees celsius in the shade of libya at africa the coldest temperature in the world was measured in the antarctic continent it was approximately minus 89 degrees celsius the minus sign is used when the temperature falls below the freezing point of water which is 0 degrees celsius if water becomes ice at 0 degrees celsius can you imagine how cold if it is minus 89 degrees celsius would be a normal body temperature is 37 degrees celsius of course a body feels cool if the air temperature is around 15 to 20 degrees celsius now can you estimate the night temperature in your village or your city during the winter season just guess what will be the temperature heat flow how will we identify the heat flow by measuring the temperature the heat can flow from one place to another place it can travel in three different ways that is by conduction in solids by conventions in liquid and gases and by radiation through empty vacuum space usually the heat flows from areas of higher temperatures to the areas of lower temperature let's know about thermal contact and thermal equilibrium consider two bodies a and b let the temperature of a be higher than the b on bringing the bodies a and b in contact the heat will flow from hot body a to the cold body b the heat will continue to flow till both the bodies attain the same temperature when two different objects come together we'll call it as thermal contact at certain point there is no more flow of heat from the heat body to the cold body so at that point we'll call it as thermal equilibrium thermal expansion what is expansion when the particles get heated they take up more spaces and they expand for an example a blown balloon 
thermal expansion if the material expands as its temperature rises this would mean that the same mass of a material would occupy a larger volume and its density will decrease as different material expand by different amounts we can decide different types of thermometers for different applications most analog thermometers are made using mercury which is the only metal in the liquid state at room temperature let's take an example of ocean the ocean are warming up due to human influenced global warming what happens when the oceans warm up yes it increases the heat energy and the increasing distance between the molecules when the ocean warms up when it cools down it decreases the heat energy and it decreases the distance between the molecules and this is called thermal expansion thermal expansion is contributing to the current sea level rise thermal contraction and expansion the thermal expansion is an increase in the volume of material due to the temperature increase the thermal expansion occurs when the particles of matter move farther apart as the temperature increases the gases expand more than the liquids and the liquid usually expands more than the solids due to the rise in temperature of substances molecules jiggle faster and move farther apart more substances expand when heated and contract when cooled for examples railroad tracks laid on the winter days expand and can buckle in the hot summer warming metal lids on glass jars under hot water loosens the lid by more expansion of the lid than the jar few applications of thermal expansions are a liquid expansion as thermometer road expansion gaps the thermal expansion of solid liquid and gases in solids the expansion joints expands when it is hot what happens when the rails contract the particles are not free to move and the solid do not expand much in liquids the mercury expands when heated the particles move more freely than in solids liquids usually expand more than the solids finally gases the gases inside a balloon expands when heated what happens when a gas expands the particles are far apart and move very freely than in the liquids the gases usually expand more when compared with the liquids and solids